why this thing, the force is inversely proportional to the permittivity of free space. So understand this one, that for this proportionality, for this proportionality, uh, let me write that F is proportional to 1 over epsilon naught. Now what is epsilon naught? What is permittivity of free space? From its name, it is crystal clear that this is permission. Permission to what? Permission to the interaction lines. Permission, permission to the field lines. So how the field lines are passing through from one charge to the other charge while passing through this medium. This medium is free space. If, for example, means these lines, these lines will be just changing if we change this permission. But why it is inversely proportional? Why it is means the more the permission, the less will be the force because it is inversely proportional. Then why this thing is happening? Uh, like, for example, uh, we, I will give you one example in the end as well and it will clarify the things more. Like, there are 10 lines going and out of those 10 lines, 2 lines are obstructed and 8 goes there. So the permission is less. But if, for example, 8 line goes there and 2 lines remains, or they are obstructed, uh, although it is not like this one, but I am just saying in very simple words, then the permission will be more. Then when the permission is more, it means the two charges will be interacting very easily with each other and the force is supposed to be increasing. The force is to be more, but it is the opposite of it. It is 1 over epsilon naught. So the reason is that for this one, let's consider, let's consider uh, a situation in which we are having, uh, let's say, two plates here. These are uh, plates of charges. Let's say on this one, I'm having positive charges and on this one, negative charges. So in which direction the electric field is? The electric field is directed along the positive to negative. And now we consider that let's say we are having some, we are having a material here and that material is having some atoms. These are those atoms which are inside that material. Now in this atom we know that we are having a positive core and we are having a revolving electron in all of them. And the field basically is directed along this one from positive to negative. Similarly here it will be, let's say the electron is here and the field is directed in this direction. So there will be random direction. We we'll, we place this material inside the electric field, what will happen? The positive charge will actually attract the negative charge and repel the positive charge. This positive charge will be repelled. While this negative plate, this will be repelling the negative charge and attracting the positive charge. So what will happen? We will have uh, a picture something like this. Inside this one, the atom will experience something like this. That it will distort and minus will come here, plus will come here and the field will be now in this direction. So this field is external and it is in this direction but as much as this field or this lines or this interaction goes into the material 
then what happens? The material polarizes and the material internal field is just opposite to this one. And that's the uh, reason that the more this one go into the material, the more will be the opposition to this one. So the more the field lines go into means more they are permitted, more will be the resistance and that's why this force is the permittivity here is inversely proportional to this one and it is unlike the magnetic field and when we will cover the magnetic field situation then that's, uh, that is the permeability of free space and it is directly proportional and it is not causing any opposition but it is a very straightforward permission.